nice to see you today. I hope you've all got a cup of tea and uh, or coffee or whatever you drink at 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> so um, I have a lot to share with you today. I had a great stitchy week. I cannot believe how extraordinary a simple thing like Arbitrary August has done for me. Of course, I'm changing my mind now. But just touching each whip that I have and knowing, uh, okay, let me just back it up here a little bit. I am stitching each day on one of my whips. And yes, I only have 15. I know some of you are going, oh my God, 15 whips. And others use, uh, might be thinking, oh, that's nothing compared to what I have. But it is manageable for me. So um, I have 15 whips. So I started August 1st and each day I stitched on one of my whips. I didn't leave it up to chance like a wheel or anything like that. I just knew that in this 15 day period I was going to stitch on all of my whips and each day I just let let the thread move me. Let the thread move me. So um, when I get to day 15 which is coming up I had intended to start the rotation over. But what it did, what this 15 days has done for me is not only has it reminded me about how much I loved each one of my whips, but it showed me how close I was to finishing some of them. You know, that, that really a good two three days and they and that would be done you know on just a few of them so because I get to do what I want the only one who has an opinion in this room besides me is Wally yes I have named him Wally after the Pixar movie because it's my favorite movie and Wally. He kind of looks like him. So, yeah. And, and you know, Wally shines a light on the situation, but he doesn't have a whole lot of opinion. So, um, that's what I'm going to do the second half of Arbitrary August. Because in August, you get to do what you want. And now that I will have touched all of my whips, I am going to... Um, go back and pick up the ones that feel like they're close. Feel like they're close. And I did take the suggestion, because trying to fit how how the um, Korean peeps are going to, my next little girl is going to get done in this month, if all I get to stitch on her is a day or two. I did Change the plan, which you might have seen uh, on uh, maybe uh, on my blog, that um, that each morning when I'm having coffee and watching the news, uh, I stitch on my Korean girl, and then my evening stitch is whatever the arbitrary August stitch is, and because of that, I'll just show you. Because of that, I have made great headway on that little girl. See, her dress is just showing up nice, 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 nice. So I will, in fact, no sweat, have her done um, in August. And might be able to even start the last little boy. Because I'm only doing six of them. Um, there are um, a total of... Let's see. There are two, two, four, six, eight. There's a total of eight of them, but I'm only doing six because it's uh, my brother-in-law and sister, me and, and G, and my mom and dad. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. So 
I've done really good with that. Oh, I forgot to bring something over here. Did I? Yeah, no, I brought it over here. Didn't I bring it over here? Let's see. So I'm on to the last... Oh, let me go get it. You hang in there. It'll only take me a second. Well, maybe more than a second. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Okay, now some of you have known uh, or have heard, because you saw on Instagram, that I had originally planned to um, change the sleeping bee, the blue flower sleeping bee, to um, that new fabric uh, that I bought that had the honeycomb on the back because I said that I had stitched it wrong and, um, or rather not stitch it wrong, how could I, but chose the wrong floss. And the thought of ripping out 40 count fabric wasn't appealing, wasn't appealing. So when I decided that that was the next um, project to stitch on, I was double checking my floss choice. And I realized that the problem that I had was that on the picture, on the picture, the floss colors are not reflective of what the chart designated as the correct floss. So right when I was just about to do some snipping, I said, you know, I should, I should just double check that this really is wrong. I mean, it looks wrong because I'm looking at the photo. Duh, do we ever depend on the photo? Do you ever depend on the photo, Wally? Do you? No. So, it turns out I was right. I was right all along. I should have just trusted myself that I was right. So, then the, dis then the choice came, do I want to start it all over on the bee fabric or, and, and just toss this out? Or what do I want to do? Because, you know, I did, uh, I made some good headway on it. Um, this is 40 count. Well, in this time of COVID and pandemic and supply chain, I said, you cannot risk getting rid of a piece of linen. Yeah, no. So I decided to go for it. Just I, I was right all along anyway. So I'm gonna save that little beehive thing for some other project. And um, I was so happy. I'm always happy when I'm right. <laughs> I'm always happy when I'm right. So I um, just dove right into that. And let me just look on my calendar because now that bee fabric is going, I mean, not the bee fabric, the blue flower sleeping bee is now going to be part of my contribution to, let's see, um, on the 15th of this month is the beginning of hashtag Bees Please Sal, where you can stitch on any bee project and hashtag it to that. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm making that blue flower. Um, so I have to take this with me. Oh, I didn't tell you. I'm heading up to see the grandson again because I cannot get enough of him. And... Um, I had a wonderful time with my oldest grandson. My oldest grandson, he is absolutely the sweetest, sweetest little kid. Yeah, he's absolutely the sweetest little kid. I, I feel kind of bad, I do feel bad for him that he so wants to go back to school and that doesn't look like it's gonna happen in uh, that part of the state here. But the little guy that I'm gonna go see, he, he has no clue. 
<laughs> he has no clue. So I'm going to take, I'm going up to see him and I'll be up there for just uh, three days. And so I have to take my projects with me. Come on, Wally, give me some room here. Okay. So today, just to give you an update, and I hope you see this video actually today when I'm filming it, which is, oh, see, that's the thing. What day is it? I mean, I forgot to write, oh, I forgot to write my blog yesterday. And so, today must be Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday! Um, but our internet is down. Uh, when I woke up this morning, I couldn't get on the internet. And I called our internet provider, and it's down in our whole area. Usually, the two reasons that our, well, three reasons our internet goes down is um, an accident, somebody hit, hit something, uh, a lightning storm, something got hit by a bolt, um, or uh, construction. Somebody cut the, cut the cable. Um, I don't know which it is, but at this point in time, there is no internet. Thank you very much. But today's uh, contribution to uh, Arbitrary August will be, oh yes, oh yes, need to touch that one. And I just love that fabric. So I'm going to be working on that one today. And that puts us at day 12. So, three more projects that I am taking with me, uh, and then I'll have gone through all of my whips, are Blackbird, Land That I Love, and uh, the Tumbleweed uh, Dry Goods. So those three will wrap up my arbitrary August, and then I'll be able to just... Uh, the second half of the month, what I'm going to do is work on those projects that I really think I could, you know, finish so that I could have a new start. I need a new start. And have I got the best new start? I have this wonderful bag made for me. I just love this. And this bag, this bag is holding... Are you ready for it? It is holding the triplets. And I'm all ready. I am all ready. So Barb, lost in floss, I won the giveaway. Neater, neater. So there's the triplets. Aren't they adorable? I'll let you look again. I am doing them all on one piece of fabric and my intention, my intention is to run the snow across so they're all kind of standing on the same pile, layer of snow. Yes. And I have it all kitted and ready to go. I am doing it on, picture this plus 28 count linen helix show it to you. Isn't that beautiful? And I have all my floss ready to go. Yep. And uh, I'm only actually uh, missing two, two colors out of all that I would use. And I'm going to pick those up DMC when I can but it's not going to keep me from starting. that. So that's going to be my next new start. So. New start, all ready to go. New start, all ready to go. Let me tell you about the Zoom class, the Jeanette Douglas Zoom class. Oh, opening that box was like discovering a sunken treasure. Yeah, discovering a sunken treasure. Because not only did in the box was this lovely 
Well, I've got so much stuff in there that um, you can't see the, well, look at the inside of that bag. It's a bag by Wendy, and it has this beautiful little charm. Uh, it's gorgeous. And then we got a piece of fabric. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. It's a little bit more golden showing up. All the finishing, all the finishing accoutrement for the projects. And then the project was this acorn tray set designed by Jeanette Douglas Designs. And it is a needle bob, a tray, and a pincushion drum. And then there was a charm in there, an acorn charm, because you know it's acorns and threads. And all, uh, all of the, um, all of the threads that you needed for the project. Oh my gosh! On this card, let's let's show you the threads with against the. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh yeah, absolutely gorgeous. And I had never worked with silk, so that was really fun. And so I started with the alphabet and that silk thread. Holy moly, was it, it that silk thread. What is it called? It is called, let's see, where is it? Old Hickory. Oh gosh, is that ever gorgeous. It was very fun. It was a Zoom workshop. But here's the caveat for me. It was very fun to see everybody. To see everybody on the Zoom. And you know, yeah, real life would be 100% better. But that isn't our reality right now. So the Zoom class was something that I had already signed up before, and so I was just going to go for it. And I am committed to stitching that drum, the little pincushion drum, because that thing is adorable. What I found out about myself, what was reinforced, I kind of always knew, but it was kind of reinforced for me during that Zoom, was that I'm a very visual learner. Not in terms of like the the whole Zoom class and uh, uh, Janine had a PowerPoints up so that she could bring up PowerPoint slides and then use a cursor and Jeanette as she was talking could tell you point A to point B. I mean the whole class was excellently done. But for my brain and how I learn, it was hard because I I'm like a <laughs> I'm like a special needs cross stitcher. I actually need to see it physically done in front of me. I mean, I need the actual fabric and the thread and to watch someone do it before I get it. And once I get it, it's like in there. I mean. It's like the Sue, in the quilting world, I do a lot of Sue Spargo stitching. Hard for me to learn from a book. I will get it backwards, I will get it forwards, I'll get it. But if Sue sits down and says, this is what you do, I've got it, you know. So I would say um, that that was tough for me, being, uh, being such a visual learner that I... Um, that that part of it, I would need more assistance. But other than that, it was so fun to meet Jeanette and actually have her tell us a little bit about herself and to see the project she did and, and her wall behind where she was with all her pretty things. Oh, I just wanted to like be able to, I wish there was a zoom control that I could just zoom in. Um, so that was fun. That was fun. What else happened? Oh, 
So I've been spending a lot of time up in the beehive getting some quilting done. And while I've been doing that, I've been watching Floss Tube. And it's, it's tough because we are, you know, I know my superpower is that I'm an enabler, and I know there are several others that have the same superpower. And one of those is Brenda and the Serial Stitcher. Yeah, those two. They get me every time. And, um, and so now I am the owner of this book. If you have not seen it, two copies because she didn't she didn't see it's kind of like cards you know greeting cards when I find you know up in Portland the shops have the most amazing greeting cards if I don't buy two it's like I'm collecting greeting cards I I have a hard time parting with them so I have to buy two so I could keep one and send one yeah so I I understood why um, uh, why she bought two of these because once she used one sticker it's gone forever and so you need the second book it makes perfect sense I mean I totally got it so I bought my first book and it is just a book that I got on Amazon filled with stickers it's just a sticker book you peel these off and you use them I mean, it's the most incredible thing. You can use them on your thread cards. You can use them on your on your Wally. Wally, I'm going to stick you with some of them. Uh, you could use them all over the place. And and so, but what was really funny is that when she showed it, I thought it was this like eight by ten book. No, this is like a five, maybe five by seven. Yeah. It's like, oh my gosh, look at those. <gasps> yeah. Oh, look at the bat. Yeah, so you just peel them off the page and use them. Yeah. Got that. Well, the next thing, oh, I got to show you this, what I did. Okay, let me reach over here. Oh, can I reach? Oh, 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 oh. I made, I made uh, needle minders. <laughs> what a hoot, huh? I found these pins and I have a goofy one. Yeah, a goofy one. You know, I, when I was traveling, uh, sometimes when I go someplace like a special place, I would buy, you want a souvenir, so you buy a magnet or you buy a pen or something. So in my um, jewelry box, I had two like lapel pens from Disney World. And, you know, I, I never wore them. It's like you buy this stuff and you don't know what you're going to do with it. I decided those pens need to be needle minders and so I turned this into a needle minder along with the one that's goofy and the way I did it was I knocked the pin off I like twisted off the back uh, pin and then I hammered it to make it flat and then I glued magnets and I made two needle miters out of my pins. Now, I'm not going in the needle minder business, but I'm I'm telling my jewelry box, beware. Some of you are turning into needle minders. Isn't that cool? I just thought that was such a, such a, uh, you're not very magnetic, huh? You're kind of all plastic, Wally. Oh, no, right here. Okay. Oh, look at that. I could decorate Wally with needle minders. Huh? How fun is that? Yeah, so I'm a little bit excited today because it's such a good uh, uh, stitching day. Everything got canceled. I was supposed to get my car service. That got canceled. Not sure what's going on there. Um, yeah, it's been a good day. 
Then I got some stitchy kindness, and some of the stitchy kindness is heading your way, but I couldn't believe this. This is so amazing, and I will put the link. It says Joseph's Workshop on the return label, but this loveliness was sent to me from Karen in Kansas. Thank you so much, Karen. What a surprise this was. I mean, oh my gosh. And it's, it says uh, it was sent uh, through an Etsy shop. So I'll try to find the Etsy shop and link it down below. It's RTB Woodworker. But wait till we get a load of this. And Karen, you absolutely know who I am. Look at these thread keeps. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh. I can't believe how, and look at this, hanging on by a thread. <laughs> and I love, I love that she's still in her robe. <laughs> of course she has curlers in her hair, that's not happening here, but I think I've stepped off the deep end. Yeah, because the last week, don't tell anybody, this last week, in the middle of the day, I took my bra off and was way more comfortable stitching. <laughs> so, Karen, you're an angel. Thank you, thank you so much. This was so such a surprise and so much fun to get. And finally, the other stitchy kindness was this wonderful letter that I got. I mean, this card, <laughs> if you don't know who um, Diana Gabladon is, she's a, I mean, her illustrations and paintings are so gorgeous and um, this card was sent by Mary and she forwarded to me two charts that she had finished and was wanting to pass on to you yeah isn't that cool and one of them I know you're gonna all love these because uh, the first one is Harvest Blessing. It's my birthday start. Isn't that gorgeous? That is gorgeous. And the second one is Heartstring Samplery. This is Leanne's, you know, in, in memory of Leanne. Baby, it's cold outside. So she finished both of these and forwarded them on for a giveaway. Stitchy kindness. And she showed, uh, she sent pictures of her finished, you know, her finished projects, which the photo, I hope you can see this, the photo of her finished project for the Harvest Blessing I am so finishing that my project this way. I just need to find the right container or bowl because that is just gorgeous. It's like sitting in a, a container or a, a bowl with a little bit of lace around it. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. And then the other one she finished was this here. That's a picture of her finished project. So there's two giveaways for this particular episode. And all you have to say uh, to enter the giveaway, uh, and if you want uh, um, just one or the other, let's see, what shall we do? Let's 
say um, cold is used in a comment for baby it's cold outside and for harvest blessings let's use the word blessings in the comment and be clever if you want to be in both of them use cold and blessings in the same comment <laughs> Yeah, so it's going to be a great week because I get to see the youngest, youngest um, grandson and I'm looking forward to it. And uh, also, I'm hoping to make a stop by one of my favorite quilt shops, you know, and maybe I'll be able to find some um, finishing fabrics and stuff from them. Not like I don't have a ton of it, but you never know. I swear, I don't know about you, but I think my family tree is going to have to include a branch that says PayPal. Because that's PayPal's the one I've been visiting the most, or have the daily relationship with. I'm going to have to ask, add PayPal to my family tree. Oh my God. Yeah. Well, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by. And oh, I'm going to add at the end, right here, uh, a little clip of our mountains. Um, and what you see is the glaciers that are left. Basically, the snow's all gone. Um, it used to be back in the day that were I mean the glaciers were huge but you know as with all things it's been receding um, but there's still a little bit of glaciers left up there and so I suspect probably come September we'll be getting snow up there again yeah but I thought you'd like to see what it looks like when there's no snow and just glaciers <laughs> Well, you take care, and thank you so much for stopping by, and we shall see you next time around. Mm -hmm.